This is a brief video describing a trip I took with my wife to Homer, Alaska. The drive from Anchorage to Homer is about four and a half hours and there's tons of beauty that you can see along the way, some of which I've highlighted here. The Homer Spit, located in Homer, Alaska, is a unique geographical feature with a rich history spanning centuries. From its formation to its development as a bustling commercial and recreational hub, the Homer Spit has played a significant role in the local community and Alaska's broader maritime culture. The Homer Spit is a narrow finger-like landform that extends into Kachemik Bay off the southern coast of the Kenai Peninsula in Alaska. A spit is a geologic landform that forms as a result of the interaction between waves, currents, and sediment deposition along a coastline. It's a type of coastal landform characterized by narrow, elongated strip of sand or gravel that extends from the shoreline out into a body of water, typically a bay or an estuary. And the spit itself is uh, about four and a half miles long, something like that. Just before you enter Homer on the right side of the road is the Lighthouse Seafood Grill. It is a great stop for halibut and chips and some excellent clam chowder with a gorgeous view of the surrounding bay. Long before European explorers arrived in Alaska, the region surrounding the Homer Spit was inhabited by indigenous peoples. The little town of Homer is really a fun spot to explore on your way to the Spit. In 1896, a gold rush brought an influx of prospectors and settlers to Alaska, including the Kenai Peninsula. Among them was Homer Pennock, who staked a claim near the mouth of the Kachemek Bay and established a trading post and sawmill laying the groundwork for the future development of the Homer Spit. The early 20th century saw the emergence of Homer as a fishing community. The Homer Spit, with its strategic location and deep water port, played a crucial role in supporting the fishing industry, serving as a hub for commercial fishing vessels and cannery operations. Ultimately, in 1956, the Alaska Department of Transportation built the Homer Harbor. The Lands End Hotel in Homer traces its roots back to 1959, when it was established by Bill and Marie McGee as a six-room inn. Over the decades, it grew into a renowned waterfront destination, offering stunning views of the Kachemik Bay and the surrounding mountains. Surviving various ownership changes and the flooding that came from the earthquake, it evolved into a premier lodging spot, attracting visitors seeking adventure and natural beauty. The hotel underwent expansions and renovations, enhancing its amenities while preserving its rustic charm. Today, the Land's End Hotel stands as an iconic landmark in Homer, embodying the spirit of Alaskan hospitality amidst breathtaking wilderness. Our little room at the hotel was nice, nothing particularly special, but nice, especially this little nook where you could look out over the beautiful bay. We spent a lot of time sitting there watching boats go in and out for fishing. You can see Kathy up there on the third floor waving from our room.
back in town is the Seafarers Memorial, where there's about 70 names along with the vessels and dates when people lost their lives, and they're engraved on plaques mounted on the inside of pillars of the memorial, and they date all the way back to 1934. There's also a fun little shopping dining area that you can walk around and check out. In that same general area, the Homer Spit Lighthouse stands and was built in 1957 by the U.S. Coast Guard. Right next to it is the Salty Dog Saloon, which traces its origins back to the 1890s when it was established as a cabin by Captain Norman Lowell, a local entrepreneur and boat builder. The cabin served as a bunkhouse for miners and loggers working in the area and later became a roadhouse and general store. dinner, we went to Captain Patty's Fish House, famous for their smoked salmon dip and their Cook Inlet Razor Clam Chowder. It was pretty incredible. You got to go. The following morning, we looked at the view a minute, hopped in the car, headed over to the harbor for our day-long fishing excursion. This area of the world is most famous for halibut fishing. Uh, they call themselves the halibut capital of the world. Um, but because of so much fishing, they restrict the amount of halibut that you can take. So if you're lucky, you can catch one. You'll see a little later, Kathy caught one, but it was too small and we had to return it. The other fish that you want to get is what's called a king salmon. And we were fortunate enough to get two of them which was a perfect day. But once again, you're only allowed one per person. So Kathy caught one and I caught one. So why visit Homer and the Homer Spit? Well, first of all, breathtaking scenery. Oh my gosh, unparalleled views of the Kachemic Bay, snow-capped mountains, rugged coastlines, and even just to be out on the spit is so unique. Then there's world-class fishing. You know, charter a boat like we did if you want, but you could even just fish off the shoreline. People were really bringing in a lot of cod that way. You could visit the artistic community in the city of Homer, which is cool. Lots of opportunities for outdoor recreation, bird watching, kayaking, hiking, all those kind of things. And then the wildlife, as in all of Alaska, is just incredible. Thank you so much for watching this video, staying with me through the whole thing. And to reward you, I'll so show you a picture of one last thing that we saw on the way out of town. Thanks so much for watching.